Hi everyone, this course name is Theory of Composite Cell. Previously, I have developed a course of Theory of Rectangular Plate on the same platform MOOCs two years back and from the different uh, learners that I received the message that we should try to develop a course on shell and this time the course of uh, that analysis or theory of composite cell is proposed here. So, basically in this course the framework, uh, the development of governing equations for a doubly curved shell will be explained and first the analytical solution will be presented, then some approximate solutions will be presented, the different cases like bending, free vibration, buckling will be discussed and in the end week of this course a brief exposure about the development of a three dimensional shell is presented. The purpose of uh, developing this course is to help basically the students who who are in universities, research scholars specifically that research scholars who uh, in working in either uh, finite element formulation of a shell in composites or that development of shell solutions in composites or advanced materials. So, in most of the universities this is higher and the courses is not taught. So, by this way one can I have just basically first state of art. There are number of ways one can develop the governing equations. Very first way is that using the volume element or using the physics point of view that concept of equilibrium. But in this course the development is used governing equation is developed using the variational principle. And in the first week the concept of differential geometry will be introduced and then using the concept of those very general form like in the form of Lamy parameters A1, A2 and radius of curvature in both the direction. But taking all these things the concept of strain, the concept of variational principle will be explained. Who can attend this course? Generally the master students who are working in solid mechanics or continuum mechanics and the research scholars faculty members who are working in the field of composites or advanced materials. They may be conducting experiment or doing theoretical because anyway we want both. If we are doing experimental work, we are need to compare our results or experimental outcomes with some theoretical results. And if we are having some theoretical results with us, then we try to compare with our experimental work or some simulation work. So, in this way it is very helpful the person who is working in the field of solid mechanics, working in the field of composites, working in the field of uh, uh, basically different industries where piping and uh, cylindrical shell, spherical cells, LPG storage tanks like that. So, these days our original materials like steel or aluminum or the isotropic materials. So, we are trying to change means keeping the same 
geometry and other things we are trying to change the materials because composite is a lightweight material. So, this is a wide application if we know the theory that how to develop these solutions definitely we can try that with the same loading same geometry that what is the performance of a composite material. So, in this direction this course will help that in the uh, end that basically learners will be able to understand the various theoretical formulations available for cells and later on they can improve or they can extend this theory to further more advanced material like functionally graded material, piezoelectric materials. So, thank you very much.